Well, we were going to be using this cast iron skillet today out on the fire pit. But we got a huge storm coming in. My creek is pretty much rising pretty quick today. But let's get inside so we can do this review on this cast iron skillet. Whoa, let me tell you, it's raining hard out there, guys. It's coming down good now here in California. But I got a review today on the Camp Chef cast iron 14 inch skillet right here. This is your special edition from Crater Lake. The Camp Chef also puts out many of different national parks such as your Yosemite, um, your Crater Lake. Like my Dutch oven is going to be the Yosemite edition and that thing works awesome. Now you don't have to season these or anything but I did pre-season them. They come pre-seasoned. Also I got this silicone handle on it. And these handles come from the Lodge. It's another cast iron company that's pretty good, but not quite as good as your Camp Chef edition right here. But look at that, this beautiful Crater Lake right there. You guys can see Crater Lake. I'll put a picture of it right up here for you guys so you can check it out. Actually over this way guys, I'll put it right there for you. But what we're going to be doing today in this cast iron skillet is we're going to be making some tactical tacos. So stick around and stay tuned for the tactical tacos. They should be awesome in the Camp Chef skillet here. Let's get to cooking. So first things first guys here we got some nice avocados and everything. We're going to be using the SE Camp Lore. This is the RB3 right here. We'll be using that to cut these avocados. I'm going to remove the seed right there on this one and cut into this one and see how well this avocado is going to look. I'm sure it's going to look good. It's pretty soft actually, this one. So instead of cutting all these avocados into little squares, the best thing I like to do is to scoop it out with a spoon. It's a lot quicker and everything. Also with these tacos, you got to have a little bit of onions. You always got to have some onions to go with these tacos. So our choice of beef today, ground beef, is going to be sterling silver. Also I want to be adding some of our onions so I get our onions nice and grilled. So we'll put about, I guess about a half a cup in here. Since we got a pound of hamburger meat, a half a cup of onions should work out just fine. So far this pan, this skillet right here is just working out awesome. Nothing sticking. There's not much splatter or nothing. Um, it's just about time to add some McCormick's taco seasoning. This stuff's awesome in your tacos. I usually use a whole pack. I usually use a pack per pound, which makes the tacos taste just off the chain, let me tell you. So I'll give this a quick stir real quick in here so everything gets seasoned evenly. It sure is smelling good over here man, let me tell you. This is some good looking stuff right here man, look at this. Boy oh boy, look at this. And also we got to pick out a bottle of wine in a few minutes here. I'll be picking out a bottle of wine so stay tuned for us picking out a nice bottle of wine and also the final end results on these fabulous looking tacos here. It's just about time to take this off and strain this. Try to get it all out of the pan. See how well the pan did guys? Look at that. There's no stickage in here whatsoever, so it worked out fairly well. I would recommend the Camp Chef Crater Lake 14 inch skillet in a heartbeat. Also a great way to clean your cast iron is put your oven on 400 degrees. Pop it in your oven face up and face down either way you prefer. Sometimes it works better face down if you put a little too much coating on it it works a lot better face down but mine's face up I barely got any coating on it and everything um, 
Our choice of wine today is the Larocco 2012 Cabernet right here. It's a red wine. It goes well with tacos, especially tactical tacos. You got to have a good wine with tactical tacos, let me tell you. Also, a great way to protect all your cast iron and everything is I recommend getting a good zip bag with um, storing of the cast iron. So I picked out the Camp Chef bag. So here's the tacos, guys. They look pretty good. We'll have to bite into these in just a few minutes, but we got the ground up hamburger beef, we got the sour cream, we got the guacamole, we got the lettuce, we got the onions, and we got the cheese. So let's try one of these bad boys out. So we got one of these tactical tacos all wrapped up here. We're going to try this bad boy out. Mmm. <laughs> For a minute here, guys. That's some tactical badness on these tacos, let me tell you. I want to thank you guys for watching my channel. Until the next video, you guys all have a wonderful afternoon. Peace out. We're going to enjoy our tacos and drink our wine. <laughs>